everyone, welcome back. This is Lydia. I have a project to share today. So these projects were inspired by my friend Stephanie. She's Vintage Paper Girl here on YouTube. I will link her down below. She created a card where she used um, remnants or little tiny scraps of leftover lace. And I love the look. I love the idea. So I thought I'd give it a go. So I keep all of my little lace bits in this box. It was gifted to me by Muriel, who's Miss Cooper's Coop here on YouTube. And that's where I keep my little uh, leftover scraps of lace. I hate throwing them out. I'm just like Stephanie. I, I hoard them. I hate throwing them out. And then the images I used come from Place in Time by Graphic 45. I'm still working on that winter um, paper. And sent then some of the um, pages from Farmhouse paper company and I received this one from Lori who's just to go from the bay I also used some crepe paper I used this one here this chevron I believe and I also used some of this crepe paper and this one is called I don't see a name on here just see crepe paper Maggie Holmes and this one was gifted to me by Carmen who's Max Nana 2012 and that one I purchased and then I used this paper here I also used this one on the container that I altered. And then of course the bits and pieces of laces. So let's get started. Let me share my card first. It turned out really beautiful, I think, anyway. So here it is. And there's that gorgeous image from Graphic 45. And I used a six by six corrugated, or these five and a half by five and a half, I don't remember. But anyway, these corrugated cards from Michaels is my face nice and sturdy to hold these many layers of laces that I have going on here so since the image was so small what I did was I grabbed a die cut I have a box full of die cut pieces and I pulled this one out I don't know where this die cut comes from it was probably sent to me in a rack but uh, it's a nice frame for that smaller image and then where it says here warmest winter wishes I also cut that out from the graphic 45 paper and then I just started tucking in my many, many layers of leftover uh, pieces of laces. And I have some of this wire ribbon that Karen sent me. She's JB Lady here on YouTube. I have a felty snowflake from Walmart. I have a pretty little rhinestone piece here that was sent to me by Carmen. And I just added another piece of lace underneath there to layer it. I have some paper flowers here from, it used to be Craft Supplies one, but they changed their name. I think it's Crafts for You now. This pretty flower here. And some more flowers. These are from Paper Studio. I love these. And again, more layers and just layers and layers of laces. Here you can see some of the paper that I used. There's more lace hanging out from here. More of that wire ribbon and lace underneath. I have some applique tucked in here and then here I don't know if you can make it out but I have some um, acrylic snowflakes that are by Heidi Swap. I have one here and then I have a smaller one here. So that's the front of the card and then on the inside I just layered some more laces and these are mostly all from my paper passion. So I have this really wide one going across and then some dainty trims going across and I have this Wood heart where I added some German glitter and this is from a piece of also from some trim that I had and I added a little sequence in there. That's a Teresa Collins sequence and then more paper here. So that's the card. Turned out really beautiful. And there's the back. I still have to see it and sign it and then I altered another um, Stampin' Up container empty container where I un unmounted the stamps. This is the inside and I had this pretty paper I didn't want to cover it because it has a really nice saying on there. You can pause it and read it. And then I added more paper there and then on the cover here I have a graphic 45 image. It's a postcard and then I have this one here and then again I just tucked in all my little bits and pieces of leftover Trims. You can see the paper there. I covered it all up. A couple more layers here. Happy Snow Days Graphic 45. And added a blue flower there. More laces that I tucked in. Here and there. And I have some blue and some red crochet pieces here. 
and I just tucked it in all the way underneath the image, on the side of the image. And I have a little snowflake here and a button, flowers, here's another wooden heart with German glitter and some pretty flowers from Natasha's scrapbook corner. And then on the bottom I added more paper and then I added these bingo chips for feet. And there's the inside. So look, that's my product share guys. Thanks for taking the time to stop by and clicking on my video. Um, give it a try. These are really fun to make if you have a little leftover bits and pieces. And have a fabulous day. Winter. Brr. Stay warm guys. Bye.